about our eight planets that make up our solar system? Let's go! Hello, Sienna. My name is Rolly the Robot. <laughs> Are you ready to go to space today? Yeah. Very cool. Are we going to teach cool lessons? Ha, 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 ha. Uh, yeah. What are we going to do in space? Uh, to see planets. We're going to see a lot of planets. How fun. Yes. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's go to space. Okay, are you ready to take off? Let's count down from five. Five. Four. We've made it! Look at all the stars. Do you see the Milky Way? I just love our solar system. Wow! There's Earth! Look! Wow! Wait, what? What's that? Aiden! An alien? What's your name? Oh, really? So nice to meet you. Okay, we have to get going. See you later. Oh, wow, that was a huge explosion. That's called the Big Bang. That's how our universe and the solar system came to be. Do you know what the universe is? It's everything that exists. It began almost 13.8 billion years ago. Let's keep going. Daddy, well. Three, two, one, that's us. <laughs> Our solar system began to develop about 4.6 billion years ago. That's a lot of time. What is our solar system? It's the sun, planets, asteroids, their moons, and comets. Yes. Welcome to our space station. Are you cool kids ready to explore space and learn all about our solar system and planets? Yes! <laughs> Let's put on your helmets and get ready to travel in our spaceship. Are you ready, Sienna? Closest to the sun. Wow. I think Sienna's having fun. <laughs> Let's go explore. First, we'll explore the first four planets of our solar system. These are the inner planets which are formed with rocky surfaces. One, it's 
Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. Did you know that Mercury takes 88 days to orbit around the sun? <gasps> That's the fastest of all the planets. An orbit is an invisible path that object in space follow as they travel around other objects like Earth. They follow these paths because there's an invisible force called gravity. This force keeps them from flying away and helps them follow their orbits. You'll see huge craters everywhere formed four billion years ago when Mercury was hit by a large asteroid causing molten rock to burst from its center. Hundreds of volcanoes form, which later broke down and formed all the craters. Look at all the craters. Oh, wow. 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 Are you ready to go to the next planet? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Our sun is the star in the center of our solar system. Wow, the sun is the largest object in our solar system. The sun might be the largest object in our solar system, but Mercury is our smallest planet. Planet number two. Check out Venus. It's even hotter than Mercury. It's like a stovetop. Venus is the brightest of all the planets. It's because it has a thick atmosphere that reflects the light from the sun. Can you believe that Venus is almost the size of Earth? Our home planet. Venus is so hot that there are over 1,600 volcanoes currently active on its surface. Wow! Sienna, cool kids, this is Venus. It's the second closest planet to the sun. Oh, it's really hot. Let's go explore. <laughs> more planets. More planets? Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool kids. One of the things I can do as a robot is count to ten. Can you count to ten, Sienna? Yeah. Okay, Four, count to ten. Two, three, Good. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is great. How cool. Good job. Whoa. Planet number three. Yes, it's Earth. Earth is the only planet in our solar system where you can live because there's oxygen and water. And it is surrounded by a very thick layer of gas called our atmosphere. Did you know that almost 70% of our Earth is covered by water? <gasps> our Earth is made up of four layers. Crust, mantle, outer core and inner core. Earth takes about 365 days to travel around the sun one time, which is one year. Yes, by the time you are three, four, five, ten years old, you've traveled around the sun that many times. Do you hear that? Yeah. What, what?
What is it? It's it's behind us, isn't it? Don't move. Maybe you'll leave us alone. No, it's getting closer. Okay, bye. <laughs> Mars. Mars is named after the Roman god of war. It has a red rocky outer layer, which is why it's usually called the red planet. It's extremely cold on Mars. Ugh. And known for its very strong red dust storms. Let's practice our solar system with this puzzle. Do you love puzzles? Yeah. They're so much fun. <gasps> wow. In the center of our solar system, we have the sun. Can you say sun? Sun! The closest planet is Mercury. Can you say Mercury? Mercury! <laughs> the second planet closest to the sun is Venus. Can you say Venus? Venus! Venus. That's right. Third planet from the sun is Earth. Yes, how amazing planet. Can you say Earth? Ah! Earth! So I'm do that now. The fourth planet is Mars. Say Mars. What? Mars. Number five, we have Jupiter. Can you say Jupiter? Jupiter. <laughs> there we go. Then there's Saturn. Say Saturn. Saturn. It is the second largest planet. Good job. Then we have Uranus. Can you say Uranus? Uranus. That's right. It's a beautiful blue planet. And last but not least, we have Neptune. 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 It's a little smaller than Uranus. That's right, good job. Good job learning all eight planets of our solar system. <laughs> Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the outer planets. They are our gas giants. You couldn't stand on them. Unlike the first four planets, they're made up of mostly rock. <laughs> Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It is so big, you could fit all other seven planets inside of it. A huge red storm known as the Great Red Spot has been raging on Jupiter's surfaces for hundreds of years and is twice the size of Earth. That's a huge storm. Wow, Jupiter has 70 moons. <gasps> That's a lot of moons and more are discovered almost every year. All right, Sienna, do you want to learn about Pluto? Yeah. Pluto is a dwarf planet that is farther from the sun than Neptune. That means it is very cold. I don't like cold. It makes my circuits freeze. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system. Saturn is made up of almost entirely gas. It's so light, if you could place Saturn on water, it would float. Do you know what Saturn's rings are made up of? <gasps> yes, tiny pieces of ice and rock. 
Saturn so big you could fit 764 Earths inside of it. Wow, look at Uranus. It's a beautiful blue planet. It's known as an ice giant. Uranus is different from the other planets because it spins on its side. It too has rings that wrap around, but they're very difficult to see. Neptune is also one of the ice giants. It has the strongest winds in our solar system, reaching speeds of 1,250 miles per hour. These four outer planets are very different from the four inner planets, as they are our gas giants and all have very thick, gassy atmospheres. Our solar system is part of a galaxy called the Milky Way, which is a collection of different stars of different colors, sizes, and temperatures. It takes nearly 230 million years for our solar system to travel one time around the center of our Milky Way. Wait, do, do you hear that? What is it? Alien coming. Oh my, an alien's coming. Let's go. All right, cool kids. Have a great day. As always, cool kids, it was fantastic learning about the planets with you. Come again soon. Have a great day.